Welcome back to Let's Talk Juggling. We're now going to talk to our first juggling personality of the day, Emma Hornell. Welcome. You're from Sweden. Yes. Tell us about your your background. You're a you're a hooper mainly, is that right? And how did you get into hooping? I was oh. that was super loud. <laughs> I'm a very loud person. Um, yeah, I got into hooping while I was traveling in New Zealand quite a few years back. And uh, yeah, when I came back to Europe, I kind of discovered what was happening in the scene here. And I went to my first EDC and got quite fascinated by juggling and started juggling a bit more. And yeah. What was your first EJC that you went to? Uh, Toulouse. Toulouse. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So when we, when you were in New Zealand, were you on a working holiday? Yeah, I was on a working holiday. I was just out of school, had worked a bit, and wanted to travel. Yeah. And you yeah. hadn't uh, hadn't been exposed to any juggling or hoops before that. Um, I I was uh, in my hometown. There's a youth circus, so I ended up going there as a kid, and I was unicycling. Unicycling. Yeah. Okay. But then you've you've sort of found a renewed passion when you went to New Zealand. Yeah. I I mean I went through the phase of being a teenager and thinking circus was lame for some reason, <laughs> uh, so I kind of quit for a while and then I rediscovered it. From, Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really lovely. So, you've had a really big year in 2016. Yeah. You have, uh, I've actually had the great pleasure of seeing you at many conventions this year. Can you, can you run us through your year? What's been happening? I know that Ooh. you were at the Danish uh, juggling convention. You performed in the gala show there. What was your experience like there? Yeah, I really enjoyed the Danish convention. Because it was quite, uh, well, and actually, they, they, uh, we had uh, Peter on the show uh, earlier in the week, who was the organizer, who said it was actually the biggest Danish convention that they'd ever had. Okay. Um, with 160 people, yeah. which I think uh, for us may have felt a little bit uh, small, because uh, you've been to other con bigger conventions this year. But they had a really interesting setup at the gala uh, show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the... The, uh, the, the, bar, with the bartender the, with sand. sand yeah. Yes, it was, it was snowing outside and they had brought us all into this bar tent with sand. It was very uh, it's bizarre. It's like a tropical beach in the middle was of that, winter. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> was that the first time that you had performed uh, that particular act? Uh, no. I first time I performed it was a uh, Brianza convention mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. in, in Italy. Yeah. Okay, so then you've done uh, Denmark, and then I believe you were also at the Swedish Swedish convention, convention, your hometown, which was uh, well not oh. hometown, sorry, because it was Lund. Yeah. Um, and then you were also in Israel. Yes. Had you been to Israel before? No, it was the first time. What was your experience of Israel like? It was warm. Uh, it was but very it was hot. <laughs> also very warm people, like really lovely, welcoming, and. I uh, had a really great time. I had a few days beforehand, so I got to go and go for some adventures in Israel, and mm -hmm. then a lovely, lovely convention. Yeah. Are there any other, uh, and of course at the Dutch Juggling the, Convention, you also yeah. performed there? Yeah, uh, I think other than that, it's mostly been hoop retreats and hoop conventions I've mm -hmm. been to. Hoop retreats, like you've been running the some workshops yourself? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing workshops in different cities, but also going to different hoop conventions that are organized. Okay. Oh, I was lying. I went to the Singaporean uh, convention ah, as well. Ah, the Singapore? What was that like? Because they're, they're quite in their infancy for conventions. How many years? It was the 10th year. Oh, so, no, the 10th year. Yeah. No, I must be thinking about another um, uh, Asian country. So how was that? Because Singapore is uh, quite a far way to go for a convention. Yeah, that one was great. It was really nicely organized and a really really good team behind it and we ate loads of food <laughs> <laughs> of nice they really know food. how to eat like yeah 
Excellent. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be looking a little bit later in the show at uh, the fusion of uh, juggling and flow arts. Uh, hooping has really been considered uh, a little bit more of a, f- a flow art, I think, than, than juggling traditionally. What, what, do you, what do you think about that? Because you talk about this as juggling or you, you, mm. think, you feel like you're part of the, the juggling scene. Do you, what, do you, what do you think about this? Um, I think there's a lot of crossovers. Like It's, it's a big grayscale. Um, there's definitely people who are more into the flow arts part and then there's definitely people who are more into the juggling part but I don't think one necessarily cancels out the other. Where do, where do hoops uh, uh, fit into that do you think then? Because for me uh, I, I feel that hoops are, is juggling and flow arts. I think it depends on the person and how they relate to their prop mm-hmm. uh, definitely. What, what do you mean by that like how they're relating to the prop? Well if you're using a hoop mainly to, um, well, flow, uh, I don't know, in lack of a better word, um, then I guess it's more towards flow arts. Uh, whereas if you're standing, and I've, I've seen a lot of people working on juggling five hoops this convention, mm-hmm. for example, then I would say it's definitely more towards juggling. Mm-hmm. So it depends on how you use your prop as well. Because hooping is such a diverse uh, prop, I, I see just... Uh, the the reg- regular hooping where people are just moving it around. I don't know the term, I'm afraid. I'm not a hooper myself. Um, but then you have manipulation, uh, mm. isolation, uh, juggling. Uh, I know you can do this with a lot of props, but I, I see a lot of diversity happening with uh, with hoops. We even saw um, uh, apparently one of the only male uh, hoopers from Israel in the cab- Cafe Cabaret show yesterday. Okay. There's a lot of things happening with hoop at the moment. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting prop because you have the possibilities of juggling at the same time as uh, I quite enjoy the possibility of being able to pass through the prop as well. Whereas with most juggling props, that is not a possibility. I also noticed uh, at uh, I, I'm definitely at the Dutch convention. I think you may have also attempted this at the Israeli games. Um, but uh, when we d- uh, when they were doing the club passing, yeah. uh, you <laughs> you in- uh, you really wanted to to uh, do it with hoops. Yeah. And I know at Israel that you did. Yeah. And uh, you were quite successful actually. So we were doing the uh, well, club passing, hoop passing. What was yeah? What what inspired you to to do that? Uh, I just tried it for fun, actually, with uh, a friend at the Swedish convention uh, to see how far we could get in a hall, and yeah, it was just a fun challenge. I think it was really cute, because in Israel they were like, yeah, no problem, you can do it. Yeah. And it, uh, in, uh, at the Dutch convention they were like, oh, no, it's like, it's club passing. And then uh, we had a quiet word to them and said that the Israeli convention let you do it, and so then they let you do it at yeah. the Dutch convention. Uh, which I think is really nice that there's sort of this opening up of, uh, it's not this very strict idea about what props can be used for certain mm. things and opening up new uh, experiences especially with hoop to be involved in uh, things like that yeah wonderful so I, I, I have seen recently that you have uh, revamped your uh, Facebook uh, page it's really lovely and you. uh, I think uh, you're going to attract a lot of attention from that but I would like to ask you about uh, yeah what do you think the importance is uh, about selling yourself uh, as an artist I think you made a comment to me earlier about Having a uh, having a good act is is amazing, but you need to be selling yourself as well. Can you uh, explain a little bit about that? Mm. Um, well, definitely. Like an important part is that you have something people find interesting, but this is also, I mean, personal reference. So what some people would find really interesting is definitely not for everybody. Um, selling yourself is hard. I think a lot of um, jugglers and circus artists and artists in general struggle with it. I definitely find it hard to um, well, write a text or an email or anything saying like, yeah, check me out. Because um, when you're getting started, you, you don't have a, a suitcase full of money there to hire somebody for promotions. You, you mostly have to do it yourself. Is that correct? I think it takes a long time before you can have somebody hired <laughs> for that. Well, that would be a dream. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think you've done a fantastic job for yourself. You've performed in, is that four or five gala shows this year, almost? Something like yes, that. Yes, and, yeah. and your workshops and everything uh, like this, your Facebook page looks amazing. What, what advice would you have for, uh, for people that are wanting to, to work on some self-promotion? Oh, um, 
don't really know. I'm still figuring it out myself. <laughs> did you did you just find for yourself that it was it was just an organic process that, that's happened over time, or do you know people? Like how how big is the? It's uh, what you you know who you know, not uh, what you know in the juggling world. It's it's a bit of a lot of things. Like uh, I did my act last year at the open stage at EJC in Budovniko, mm -hmm. uh, and that actually helped for some of the shows that I've done this year. Um, I think just be on it, keep writing, keep asking, keep trying, because we're in like a world where rejection is sadly, or yeah, it is part of what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can't let that defeat you. You can't. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Emma. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I've really enjoyed seeing your performance and seeing you at, at the conventions. I really, uh, what, what are we going to be seeing from you in the coming uh, year? Oh, um, well, this is a good question. I'm wanting to work on something new, but at the moment, because I've been so busy and traveling a lot, it's not given me time for consistent practice. So uh, my plan for after this EJC is to go to Sweden and spend some time just training. Mm -hmm. So that's first step. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm afraid we're out of time. Okay. I hope you enjoy the last day of uh, EJC and yeah, very much looking forward to seeing you around at the convention scene. Thank, thank you. you.